Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to be using the St. James Suite plugin to dial in some blues tones. We're going to be dialing in tones using the EL34 and 6R6 amps. We're going to be talking about using boosts with these amps and also your choice of cabinet and microphone. So over in the St. James Suite we're going to start with the EL34 amp. But before we start dialing in any tones, I'm actually going to talk to you about the cabinet choice. Now, the St. James Suite has a bunch of different cabinets on offer, from 1x12s through to 4x12s. Now, when we think of the great blues tones, what we typically hear on all our favorite blues records, and often when we see our favorite blues players play live, is they're using combo amps, rather than the traditional head and cab setup. So to replicate that, I'm going to be using one of the smaller speaker cabs here. So I'm going to start with a HT Club 40 1x12, but any of the smaller speakers will get you in the same ballpark. Now, when it comes to recording a great blues sound, we actually have a little bit more headroom here to allow ourselves to have a very characterful microphone. So when we're choosing a mic, we could choose something like a dynamic mic, which is going to give us a very balanced and focused sound, which is great for higher gain styles of music or rock or when we really want a lot of detail. In blues, what works great is a ribbon mic. Now, a ribbon mic is going to give us a slightly different sound. It's a bit thicker and warmer, but also it's got a bit more character and vintage vibe to it. Now, the sounds that we're dialing in are going to be more vintage leaning anyway, so I'm going to use the 121 ribbon mic for this as well. So amp-wise, I'm going to start with the EL34 amp, and I've got nothing on right now other than a little bit of reverb in the post effects, and that sounds like this. So it's very clean, but if I dig in a little bit more, we get to that edge of breakup where we're just breaking the clean sound. Now, to dial in a great blues tone, there's a couple of different approaches we can use, and these approaches work for both amps. There's going to be slightly different results, though. The first option is to leave the amp clean and just crank the channel volume. What that's going to do is the channel volume is going to bring in a little bit of preamp gain and breakup, and that's just going to push the whole amp that little bit further. So this is going to bring in some light overdrive. So you can hear there that this is not a huge amount of drive, but there's enough there for it to not be clean anymore. So this kind of tone is great if you're looking to dial in a low gain version of a 60s British style tone. So we've got the amp pushing us just off clean. In the pre-effects we can use the compression module or the overdrive module to push the amp a little bit more. Now what I would recommend is keeping the gain on zero to start, set the level to find a point where it just lifts the amp's volume slightly, and the tone of course you can set to taste. If you're using humbuckers you might want a bit more top end presence. And if you're using single coils, you might want to bring that down a bit to compensate. And then either the TS or the overdrive mode works great for this. This is just going to push the amp that little bit more. This is a great starting point if you're a fan of players like Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck because you get that nice pushed 60s British blues sound. The other way we can do this is without the overdrive, we can actually use the overdrive channel of the amp. Now, the EL34 amp is a lot lower gain than the 6L6 amp, which we'll talk about in a moment. So to get a great blues tone from the EL34, I would recommend keeping the gain anywhere from 9 o'clock to about midnight. I'm going to set it about here just to start. Turn the channel volume up a little bit to compensate for the gain drop. Then we get something like this. Now you can hear that's a lot quieter, so we can push that volume a bit more. We can also turn the mass drop if we need a bit more. And then, if we really want, we can boost that. And 
And that works great when we're kind of bridging that gap between more traditional blues and blues rock. Now, with this kind of sound, this is incredibly dynamic. Whether we go for this approach where we're pairing the overdrive pedal with the overdrive channel, or whether we pair that with the clean channel, both are very, very dynamic. So what we can do is we can play softer and clean up. Or we can dig in a bit more to get some more aggression. So if you then want to start EQing the amp a little bit more, once you've got your basic gain levels dialed in, what I would always recommend is EQing the type of amp to suit the type of sound that it's emulating. So an EL34 amp is always going to have a little bit more of a British character. So we want to lean on the EQ in that sense. So what that means is we're going to have a bit more mid-range here and a little bit more top end. What we don't want is too much low end from a British style amp. <laughs> give us that pretty typical British amp sound that we all know and love. Now this works great on the overdrive channel as well. When it comes to getting a great blues tone we don't want to crank the gain too much. So with the gain control you probably don't want to go too much above midnight and you also want to leave yourself a little bit of headroom if you're boosting the front end like this. Now we're going to do the same thing with the 6L6 amp. So clean, 6L6 sounds like this. So this is a much, much cleaner sound. Now the 6L6 amp has way more headroom. So when we do things like crank the volume or add a boost in front, you're going to have this perceived idea of there being more volume on tap because we're actually not compressing the amp the same way as with the EL34 amp. The EL34 has a lower headroom, which means the harder we push it, the more it compresses, which makes it sound not as open and as loud. So the 6L6 amp is going to have more of an American voice. So we can do the exact same thing. We can just crank that channel and that's going to give us a little bit of breakup, but not as much as the EL34 did. <laughs> We're still pretty clean there, and then if we go to a single coil, it's still going to be very, very clean. Now we can once again add the boost in the front end with the drive. Like I said, this is going to give the impression that there's more boost on tap because the amp is much more open. So if you're finding the level is a bit too much, you can dial that level back. Try and find that point where you're just pushing the amp rather than adding too much extra volume. We can also do the exact same principle as earlier where we go to the overdrive channel of the amp. Now the 6L6 as I mentioned has way more gain on tap so with the gain on halfway and the lower gain voice selected it's this much gain. <laughs> Now that is definitely too much gain for what would be a great blues sound. So we're going to have to bring the gain down here and you'll probably find you need to bring this down even lower than you did with the EL34. So maybe down to about here and get that volume up to compensate. That's a pretty good gain level. We could probably do with maybe a little bit more on the master volume there and a tiny bit less gain. That 
that's definitely more American in its sound. And again, that will also work great if we put a boost in front of it. So that's a really nice, slightly higher gain blues sound. That would be great for leads or for more aggressively kind of bluesy rock type sounds. Now, again, with this being an American amp, we want to do the same thing with the EQ here. So we want to shape the EQ based on what the typical perceptions of this kind of amp are. So that would be a little bit less mid-range and a bit more of an increase in the lows and the highs. So the typical difference is the British amp will have that mid-range bump and the American amp will have that mid-range scoop. The British amps tend to have a little bit less bass response and in the Americans, we will push that bass response a little bit more. So on the clean channel, we get this tight, warm sound and you can hear there's a little bit of break up there now now that we've adjusted the eq and then when we boost that but there's still a lot of clarity to the notes it's not kind of getting lost even though we've kicked that low end up a little bit it's not a boomy sound at all. The big difference between the British and the American sounds is that the British blues tone has more of that mid-range push, and then the American blues tone has a bit less mid-range, but we've got more of that fat low end and the extra cut of the top end. The other cool thing we can do with the 6L6 amp is we can actually emulate the sound of a slightly smaller combo. Now, a lot of classic blues records are made with 10-inch or 8-inch speakers, and Cabrug doesn't actually offer anything lower than a 12, but we can slightly simulate this with the post EQ block. Now a smaller speaker is gonna have less bass response. So we can put the high cut as high as we need to to get the right sound we want. So I'm gonna set this all the way up now just for example. And then a smaller speaker without the additional bass you get from a bigger speaker actually produces more mid range. So I'm gonna push the mid range up here and bring the top end down a little bit. So we're kind of creating this slight funnel here where we're taking some of the lows and highs off and pushing the mids up a bit more but with that american eq voice it gives you a very different sound this is more akin to those classic small amps from the 1950s <laughs> So there you go, there are the basics of using the St. James Suite to dial in a great blues tone. You can use all of these ideas as a starting point for dialing in your own blues tones with the plugin. Let me know down below in the comments what combination of amp and cab you're using to play blues with the St. James Suite. I'd love to hear how you guys are using this in your own playing. If there's anything else with the St. James plugin you'd like to see us make a video on, also, let us know down below in the comments as well. We'd love to hear what you guys want to see us do with this plugin. Don't forget to head over to Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more free videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please head over to musicteacher.com. There's a great network of teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you soon.